Several marijuana bills are making their way through the state legislature this session, but some local business owners have some concerns. Fox 9's Rob Olson joining us from the Capitol tonight. Rob, they believe that some changes should be made. Yeah, you know, these cannabis bills have been uh, going through a long journey here at the Capitol all session. Countless committee hearings, countless revisions, hundreds of pages in length, and they're not done yet. And those already involved in the hemp industry in Minnesota today saying they don't want them done yet. They support their passage, but they still want some revisions here because they fear the way they're written, they could be left out. My business dies on July, July 1st, 2023. The concerns brought to the Capitol are clear. We don't even know if what we're making right now is going to be legal. A move to legalize marijuana in Minnesota brings unclear consequences for the state's burgeoning hemp industry. Few will win and many will lose. And the hemp farmers, the hemp processors, and the hemp retailers will lose. When Minnesota last year legalized low-dose THC products derived from hemp, the manufacturing took off of edibles and drinks, adding to the already growing business of CBD oils, also derived from hemp. We have had 21 recreational states pass. Not one of the 21 recreational states have lumped CBD or industrial hemp into the bill. But as the bills to legalize marijuana move through countless committees and towards a finish line and likely, though not guaranteed, passage into law this session, those already in the hemp business say it puts them in real jeopardy. But the reality is broadening the conversation to include people who actually have skin in the game and have something to lose is what's not happening here. The new bills create regulations and licensing and taxation for any products with THC, which brings hemp growers under the new rules and the need for the new licenses that they say they're not even sure if they can get. Legalize and be fair about it and be small business oriented. While recent and lengthy amendments attempted to appease the hemp industry, many of them small businesses, they fear, as they still read now, they might be left behind. So please, I've urged you through these committee stops, take hemp out of the bill. Now, well, again, there's still a ways to go. It is believed that it's very likely that the bills could get floor votes uh, relatively soon here. But even if they do and even if they pass, they would still have to go through the conference committee process. So, again, a lot of work to be done and a lot of concerns from this industry and from others, too, about things that are in the bill and things that are not, again, very lengthy bills. But those, uh, again, today believing there's a lot of work yet to be done. Live at the Capitol, Robles, Fox 9. New